Welcome. This is a cradled birch panel. I found this in the spring section of all places at Hobby Lobby. So I bought it, I gessoed it, and then I covered it in black paint. My goal is to do a beach scene, like a black beach, because one of the coolest beaches I've ever seen in my life was in Hawaii, and it was a black sand beach, and I was absolutely taken by it. Here I have a cup of art resin. No, I will not use the entire cup here. I'm doing several projects all at the same time, but I am going to start by just um, getting the first coat of resin on this because when you do a beach scene, you want to let the resin set for you know 20 minutes or so before you do the waves. You want it to thicken up a little bit. So let's see if that's enough. I should put on gloves before I do something stupid. So we'll do that real quick. Oh, well, I look for my gloves. I've also got this one. That was my very first attempt. And as you can see, I effed it up. So we're gonna try that one again too. So I'm going to take a resin little spreader thing, spread this out. I have way too much going on at the same time. That is no surprise to anyone who knows me or anyone who's been to my channel before. I'm just kind of a, the Lord knows what I'm doing anytime, anyplace, anywhere with anybody. I am realizing too that this is too much resin. Oh, okay, how much more do I need to get off of this? I feel like such an idiot right now. I poured way too heavy. The resin I'm using is art resin. Unlike alcohol, it's not great when you pour it too heavy. <laughs> I haven't had a, a glass of wine yet today. Not that I do every day. It's Wednesday though, so sometimes Wednesday I have a glass of wine. Sometimes. Sometimes I just wait till Thursday. We'll see. We'll see how much this stresses me out tonight. <laughs> okay, so these uh, have enough on them that I can set my timer for 20 minutes and then come back and I'll blow out some beach waves these guys. In the meantime, I will take this time to apply crystals to some geodes that I'm making. And in that time, I'll open my brand new heat gun that I'm going to use tonight and have not even acquainted myself with because, yeah, uh, Brinks person much, Raina? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. God, I don't mean to be like this. I think I need the beach to actually not be this much of the painting. I'm thinking rules of, rules of thirds, you know? Just gonna get my resin all the way to the edges and scoop it back towards the front here. I get just a general water shape. Awesome. I've got some armor art, epoxy pigment in white. So what I'm going to do is put some of my resin in this teeny tiny cute little reusable silicone cup. Don't need a mutt. And don't need, I don't need the much. The heck, it's like Mario. Okay, so I'm gonna take this old stick and I'm going to dip it into this incredibly thick, thick, thick stuff. If you are shocked that you have armor art and it like does not move, don't be. I think that's actually how it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're gonna mix it up here. Nice and fluid. Okay, so that's good. That way. Of course, I managed to put the cap in like the one spot of wet resin on the countertop. Go me, as usual. All right, I'm gonna take a pencil is used. It's okay, it's like no big deal. And I'm going to pour a little bit more resin in here. Not a lot, because I am just going to do a very small accent line of glitter. Since this is black, I'm gonna use Winmarden Art Lux Powder in Fire Rainbow. And I want just subtle, I know, shocking for me. So I'm just gonna mix a tiny bit in. I don't want a ton, ton of glitter in this one. Just a hint. Just subtle. It should be good, but actually, as I look at it, I think it needs some blue. So I'm gonna add in just a little of Win Modern Art in Alaskan Sky. There we go. 
That's good, just a little bit of blue. Okay, last bit in this, and again, I don't need much because I'm just doing an accent color, just like a little stripe, a hint. And we're going to be using a brand new color by this little piggy pigments called Lagoon. So brand new, I haven't even opened this one yet. Woohoo! I had a sample and I used that real fast. That attempts to find a not disgusting popsicle stick. Do about that much. It's just a beautiful color in resin. Beautiful color, really, anyway. Let's try our big old experiment here and see how this goes. Actually, now that I think about it, it would really be more intelligent for me to test on this one first. I'm just going to draw this small line of my armor art all across. Maybe just a little extra glob right there for effect. Definitely already better than the first attempt. I might put a second one in. I watched a girl do a double wave earlier and I thought that that looks pretty sweet, so we'll just try her double wave technique. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take this line of Lagoon, just gonna pour this in. This is not technically a color shift pigment, but it does tend to throw off kind of an indigo over dark. And that's why I wanted to use it to create a little bit of a blue in these waves. I really only want it close to the shore because when you go to the ocean, the deeper you get, the darker it is. Okay, and now I'm gonna add my glitter line right behind the lagoon. This stuff is beautiful in resin. It's beautiful basically anywhere, but <laughs> I'm really digging it in resin in particular because I think I've just pour more resin lately than I do paint. Not a terrible thing, you know, to change things up once in a while. All right, I'm just gonna use the rest of this. I'm doing the low setting right now because I just wanna warm this resin up since it's been sitting for a while. Softening this out. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is move this ever so slightly. I'm going to take my clear resin and put a fresh barrier between the slightly older, and by older I mean, you know, 25 minutes ago. I also noticed this side needs some. Okay, it's time. Hello friends, it is me, Raina, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the fuck. And I thought I would just pop in for a second while I'm blowing it over here and tell you a little bit more about the things I'm using so you have the most amount of success. The most important thing is a good heat gun. So I was using a crappy heat gun beforehand and um, there was a reason I was not getting any ocean waves. So this is, sorry, I'll just block my whole face. This is a digital heat gun. I got mine from Ace Hardware. If you have one near you, they have basically the same thing as Wagner, but half the price. The most important thing is the nozzle. You need to be able to direct your airflow. So also having all kinds of temperature settings is very important too. I have used this twice and it is already covered in resin. Don't be like me, wipe it off. I really didn't know I did that, but whoops, done now. To make really good waves and lacing, Armor Art, I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know if it's working. Armor Art in white. Uh, this is not the easy flow. This is the standard. This is extremely good for it. I haven't used it in other colors yet, but I'm certainly gonna try. This is very, very thick. A tiny bit goes a long way. And this so far is what I think most people use for waves, unless you're Australian. And I think you use just resin. I've heard a lot of good things about the just resin paste as well. Never used it, but hey. Maybe I will someday. That's looking pretty good so far. I probably could have put the blue closer to the white. So it looks a little better like there, but that's okay. I am going to pour a tiny bit more white where it looks kind of jagged because it's 
Actually, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to do a little clear right there because it'll look more natural. Because kind of how the waves crash on the sand, it's not even because, you know, they hit little rocks. They bring in a shell. I'm not from the ocean, but I've spent a good amount of time there. Enough to kind of know what it looks like. It's actually <laughs> creating kind of a cool effect itself. Not exactly what I'm going for, so try to move it just a little bit. Okay, it's not going to do what I want, which is not the biggest deal in the world. So I'm just going to add with my a popsicle stick a new outline. This little piggy pigment. This is a mica pigment. It is a teal green duo and it goes really well with all sorts of blues and greens. It, it looks more green on a white background and it looks more of an indigo blue on a black background like you're seeing in the video. Just to show you the color and hopefully not tip it over like I've done in the past. It's a very lovely blue green that lends itself very, very well to ocean scenes because it's just got that color. If you've been to the Caribbean, if you have been to tropical waters, you've seen that color, you know what I mean, and this is perfect for it. Okay, we don't want to overwork our waves, so I'm going to consider that good for now, uh, wave-wise. However, I've got to admit, I am kind of just a little bit irritated by how unnatural it looks. Got an idea? I have a feeling tomorrow when I go for round two, I'm going to redo that front line. And that, my friends, is totally cool, you know? It's totally cool to do that. Well, the rest of it's looking pretty nifty, I think. So we'll come in tomorrow and do a little bit of that, and probably do a second wave over here. I was planning on not resining this part, but I may end up resining that. I don't know. It'll probably look better if it's all resined. I was thinking of using matte black, but that might just be kind of a like weird far-fetched idea. And we're back. Beautiful, right? I love it. I'm almost <laughs> considering keeping it just like this uh, because I like the minimalism, but there's part of me that knows that an ocean would never just look like that. There's got to be more. So here we are going to add the second wave today. It cured really well. There was one thing that fell in it over here, so I sanded it at least even with the top, um, and that'll be obliterated. I did not like that harsh line, so I came in with a little bit of white metallic acrylic paint and just painted that with a paintbrush uh, just to make it look a little bit more like frothy water. And at first I was gonna leave this unresined and paint it matte black. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore because of this line here. I think I'm just gonna resin the whole thing. So that's where we're at this morning. I have mixed up four ounces of art resin, which for some reason this morning is extremely bubbly. And I think it's just because it's like really, really cold in my studio. It's snowing outside and resin doesn't really like either of those things. So I'm going to set aside three tiny little containers and that is going to be for my Lagoon pigment, the white pigment, and of course the glitter. Today I'm going to lay the lines a little bit closer together because I also don't really like the gap that there's no blue right in there. I mean, it does actually kind of work with the beach thing because a black sand beach, when the water is really close to shore anyway, there's really no color, it's still transparent. So honestly, that does work. <laughs> it, um, it's just me being me that I'm like, Meh. you know, so there's my third container. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Good enough for government work. So I don't need a whole lot of either of any of them. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of the resin in each. It's early morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. <coughs> Oof. I was gonna come home and resin last night after band practice, but I was just way too tired. So I decided I would get up early to do it because I want this done this weekend for uh, to hang it up at a new shop. All right, here we go.
We're gonna wait 20 minutes and then come back and uh, do this. Just popping some alcohol, or popping some bubbles here with alcohol. Not that there aren't bubbles in the ocean, there are plenty. I just, you know. I'm trying to get rid of as many as I can before I start. So, I am going to mix some of my Armor Art Epoxy Pigment in white. Again, if you haven't used this stuff before, don't be shocked by how incredibly thick it is. It's like almost a solid in there. It's really, I mean, it is a paste, y'all. There's also a hair stuck to my mixing stick that is kind of gnarly. It doesn't really matter, but I think I'll mix it in this one because it seems to have the most resin in it. And you're not supposed to go over 6%, you know. <laughs> Lord. Uh, I'm sure that was over 6%. That was probably 10%. Hard to tell exactly. But there we've got a nice thick white to create a wave. Again, this little piggy pigment in Lagoon. It's all mixed up. Now I'm going to do my glitter combo. Wind Modern Art and Alaskan Sky and Fire Rainbow. I think I want a smidge more Alaskan Sky. I think this is the top layer. I like that 20 minutes in between. I time to have some breakfast and make my coffee. Obviously can't drink coffee while you're pouring resin, but it's waiting for me as soon as I'm done, and that's a joyful thing. All right, there we go. Got more of the turquoise. All right, time for me to put my gloves on. Get the heat gun. I want this beach scene even more beautiful than it already is. And of course, you know, the stuff I spilled in the resin. Get that out <laughs> at the end. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is pour my white line. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I think I like so much of this, so much. I'm gonna pour it back more. I didn't mean to follow my line exactly. <laughs> Whoops. I can always add more. It's not like there's not a whole lot in that cup. Next I'm gonna add my lagoon. Closer than last time, but not like touching. These little cups are so perfect for this. All right, now my line of glitter, close to the lagoon. I'm gonna skip ahead for the black that I use. This is Ebony Dispersion Color by Counterculture DIY. And like one or two drops of this will cover an entire color an entire cup of resin black. I mean, black, black. This is some pretty nifty stuff. It comes in a ton of colors. So if you are looking for the blackest of the black and you don't really feel like using acrylic paint, this is awesome. I'd recommend going out to their website and getting you some. I am using Win Modern Art Luxe Powders. I wanted to show you this on camera because this stuff is incredibly sparkly and beautiful. This is the Fire Rainbow. As you can tell, it's black, but holographic. Ultra, ultra fine. And I have been using other ultra fine glitters, and this is better and prettier and worth the price if you ask me. So uh, I have a discount code below if you want to get a little bit off and try some of these for yourself. You can start out with like the two ounce packages. This is, this is the Mac Daddy <laughs> eight ounce, but I mean, just. Look at that. Woo. And this is the Alaskan sky that I also used. And yeah, it really does look this beautiful. And it looks incredible in resin. I haven't used it in paint yet just because I've been doing so much more resining than paint lately. But I mean, <laughs> it's awesome. If you love sparkly stuff and you haven't been real happy with your glitter so far, just go ahead and try this. Um, the link is below, along with discount. Pretty good. I don't really like that right there, so we'll fix that. I 
hope you learned something and I hope you like and subscribe. This is actually only my first, no, <laughs> that little square thing I showed you. That is my first attempt at waves. This is my second attempt and looks pretty good for a second attempt. So you can do it. Anybody can do it. So give it a shot. Follow me on Instagram or here or maybe here. I'm, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Somewhere around here. <laughs> check out my website. Check out my Facebook page shop, all that sort of thing. You know, dye your hair blue. It'll be a good time. And we will see you around. Ciao. Question becomes, do I do a third wave? I'll leave it at two. See, I have a tendency to overdo things. I'm trying not to be like that. So I think we leave it at two. All right. And just because this is not as perfectly black as I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and use another drop of a Ebony Dispersion Color by Counterculture. Just one drop will go a long way. I keep getting schmutz in my beach. Not cool. One thing is bothering me. Alright, I needed it to go off the edge just a smidge. Yeah, it doesn't go over the edge like I thought it would. It's a little shitty around the edges. Which means this is gonna have to get one more coat of resin. Boo. Oh, that was pretty nice. Hope you all do too, but this doesn't really matter because it's my art and not yours. Ha ha! I'm doing this to prevent any more schmutz from getting in. Oh my god. Like that. Jesus Christ. That's my own hair.